Hello friends and welcome to this Alaska kitchen. Today we're gonna to share with you a couple recipes we've made lately for family dinners. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, we appreciate you coming back. We are an Alaskan family of six living in Anchorage, Alaska, and we are a hunting and fishing family. So a lot of our meals include moose meat, fish that we've caught over the summer like halibut or salmon, and we like to give you a little glimpse into what dinner time looks like around here with some fun recipes and often some desserts. So today's recipe is inspired by one of our viewers. We were sent these sun-dried tomatoes from Trader Joe's and I can't tell you the last time I had cooked with sun-dried tomatoes. I just hadn't bought them. I don't see them at Costco, so I don't think about them very often but they inspired me to make a halibut pasta the other day and I did not film it and it was delicious and everybody's been dreaming about it since we made it. So we're gonna make it again today. I have no idea where I got this recipe. It looks like maybe I typed it up, but it doesn't have much information in it. So we're just kind of going with it. It's called halibut linguine with basil cream sauce. We're gonna do things like zucchini and squash and sun-dried tomatoes, cream, butter, salt, pepper and our halibut, it's gonna be delicious. Wash your hands first and then you can help. So this halibut is about $22 a pound in the market. We caught this last summer, but you could use any type of white fish, cod, tilapia, other kind of stuff that would probably taste just, just really nice too. So there you go. Bennett made our dessert earlier tonight. He made two packages of this flan that was sent to us from a viewer, so thank you. Three packages? All right. We only made four. So. He made it in these tins, so he's going to now run the knife around them, and then we're gonna hopefully flip them out. Yeah, that looks good. Fall down 
This turns out to be a delicious and very rich dish. We don't usually eat things that are quite this rich with all that cream in it, but it is so delicious and I needed to use up the cream, the halibut, all the veggies, the pasta, yum. So today I'm going to be making some fish pie. I've never made this before, but my husband works for a native corporation and sometimes they have potlucks and he has brought home this amazing fish pie. Now the lady that makes the one that I'm thinking of will not give up her recipe, but his work did put out a little cookbook, just like a couple pages of recipes. And there are several, it says peruga or peroque. It's spelled three different ways. Um, it can be made with halibut or salmon. Um, it has rice in it, vegetables, and fish in a pie crust. And I've just been thinking about it lately, and so we're gonna make a version of it. We're just gonna throw a bunch of stuff together. So I've got some cabbage, carrots, celery, onion. I have some rice cooking right here in the rice cooker, just plain white rice. I've got some leftover from the holidays Pillsbury pie dough and then two beautiful king salmon fillets from june of 2022 we got to get through the salmon because before we know it it'll be fishing season again really at this point in the year salmon from the freezer tastes okay and then you taste fresh salmon again in like may and june and you're like oh this is what it tastes like but in February and March, you keep powering through the salmon in your freezer if you were lucky enough to get it. We're gonna do it with this, but I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. So let's head over to the sink. My sister sent me an Instagram reel where somebody used boiling water to take the skin off of salmon. We're gonna see if it works because if it does, it will be really helpful in cooking the salmon so I don't lose any of it. We're gonna remove the skin first. We're gonna try it. Unless you're really good with a knife at filleting really carefully along the skin, you often lose a lot of the fish or you just need to cook it first and then flake it. We're gonna try this because ever since I watched that video, I've been very curious to see if it works. Got some boiling water in the tea kettle.
Like on this one, if I try and pull it off, it starts to pull the meat and won't pull off. So this is actually working fairly well. Probably works better on like fresh salmon, not six month old salmon. It's working pretty well. two pots going here one with the vegetables sauteing one cooking the salmon up and flaking it up and then we'll layer our fish pie every time I use this machine I get asked where it's from pampered chef check out the flip-flop chef here on YouTube it was sent to me from one of our lovely viewers but she ordered it through the flip-flop chef here on YouTube so she can give you all the details of this mandolin slicer it's excellent today and then my hair is a mess now. I think oh, no you don't need to take my hat off. I'm cooking. Woo, my eyes are watering from the onion. I didn't even cut it. Ooh. All right starting to flake up this salmon. Gonna add some spices to it. Cooking up a little bit of bacon grease to cook our veggies in. A lot of them call for bacon, but I didn't have any bacon that wasn't frozen, so just using the bacon grease to get the flavor instead of regular oil. Adding in these beautiful veggies. Mom. Mom. Yes, we are. Hold on, back up, please. Mom. So I just want it kind of flaked up. I put some salt on it. And some bacon grease. Bacon, cooked it in bacon grease. It's supposed to have a bottom and a top crust, but I thought I had more crusts than this, and I just have two, and I wanna make a blueberry pie as well, so we're just gonna have bottom crusts. Gonna make do. Start with rice on the bottom. Hey, what, hey, what are you doing? Making a fish pie. A pie with fish? Yeah, like a chicken pot pie, but... But 
But we're gonna have lots of leftovers of these things that will just make a whole nother meal. But there's our fish pie. So these are some blueberries that we picked this summer, actually this fall. I'm gonna make a little pie filling. Oops, careful. It says four cups blueberries, one fourth cup tapioca, one cup sugar, lemon juice, cinnamon. Hi, Dad. Ice cream. You more ice cream? How do you like Everett, the pie, boys? Everett, if you want more ice cream. The pie's delicious. It kind of turned into a cobbler with a lot of runny stuff, but the boys don't seem to mind. Find the watch? I care a little bit. We uh, just got back from going cross country skiing for the last hour. Nice treat. Oh, hey, what are you doing? It is Bennett's night to make dinner. He is going to help me make some. Go Shujang garlic noodles using this fermented, using this Korean fermented red pepper paste. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Go Shujang from Trader Joe's. Our lovely viewer Lisa sent this in a box and then she, she also sent me an email with some recipes we could try. I don't have everything in this recipe, but I think I have enough things that we can give it a try. And we're gonna make some Moose gochujang garlic noodles. Made a sauce with this, some rice vinegar, some soy sauce, some sugar. That is going to be the base. We're gonna cook up some moose meat and add some green onions and just broccoli on the side. It'll be yummy. Hold on, you need oil first and it needs to be warm. Since that's still frozen, what you're gonna have to do is put it on the skillet and kind of get it brown, flip it, shave it, flip it, shave it, kind of thing. Does that make sense? Like brush off the stuff that's cooked. And this is the to open a thing on a clean rag that we use to put our clean dishes on. Okay. Our cutting board. Well, this was a good, interesting treat. We never would have tried to eat this before, but uh, but mixed with moose meat and the noodles, it was delicious. So that was fun. Time to clean up. I recently purchased some items from the Alaska Flower Company, and one of them was barley brownies. And Bennett could hardly wait to make these barley brownies. So one Sunday afternoon, while Mark's parents were visiting, it was his opportunity to make some brownies. Okay, we're trying the barley brownies. They're tasty, Lord. They're very tasty. I would give them a 
Okay, try one. I'm on a plate. Looks great. Right. It's good. Yeah, it's good. We do have a little bit of a different taste. A little bit different taste. It's hard to put my finger on what it is. It's the barley. It's like is it barley? <laughs> 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 it tastes like chocolate cake to me. Yeah, good. You know, most of my reference is the Ghirardelli brownie chocolate from Costco. I was like, this. that's a reference point. Well, friends, thank you so much for spending time with us in this Alaska kitchen. We are so grateful for each and every one of you that spends time with us. If you haven't already, we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And we'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life.